Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today, I just wanted to go over a few quick new growth styles for lazy people who just don't have the time to be like doing super fancy styles every day with pipe cleaners and perm rods and all this other stuff. Y'all know that I work from home, so it, it really don't matter that much what my hair looks like. I mean, I can just leave it in this state and it'll be just fine, but I do try to do a little bit something something because I do get on the webcam pretty re regularly. So I just wanted to show y'all some of the things that I like to do. But before I get into that, I wanted y'all to see real quick here. Um, my edges are a little bit longer right here. And that is because when my fingernails were longer, um, this piece got caught in my pinky fingernail and I kind of pulled it out of the lock. <laughs> and my scalp was hurting right there for like a few days. I was just like so mad. And so I tried to like twist it around and then like twist it itself so that it can start locking a little bit. but. Y'all know I'm not a loctician. Ain't really much I can do about it. So later on tonight actually is my retightening appointment. So I'm gonna just ask her to fix it. Now right here, y'all see me separating my locks because they started to get married a little bit. Um, typically that's when one strand of hair from one lock gets attached to another lock and then they just kind of stick together. Um, you typically wanna pull them apart after you wash your hair but I kind of forgot to do that when I washed it earlier. So I'm just kind of doing that a little bit here. And before we get into the styles, why don't we measure some of this new growth? I get my retightening done once every six weeks. And so let's see, looks like I got about a centimeter of growth here. Dang, that's, that's really good. That adds up. Okay. So y'all gonna have to forgive me in advance cause some of these styles are gonna look crazy. And the reason for that is because I don't have my contacts in and I don't have my glasses on. My vision is very, very bad. I can't really see that far in front of me. So for those of y'all who know me like that, y'all know I got two pair of glasses, one pair of glasses to see up close, like for my computer, and then another a, a pair of glasses to see further away for like my TV or for when I'm driving and stuff like that. So yeah, my vision is pretty, pretty bad and I should have known better. I should have <laughs> wore my glasses or my contacts in this video so that I could give y'all like... I don't know, better quality hairstyles, but at the end of the day, y'all know I've been saying this for years. This is not a beauty channel. I'm not a makeup and hair guru. So take these styles with a grain of salt. I'm pretty sure y'all can make these look better than how I did. It's just to generate some ideas for those out there who are dreaming about having sister locks someday or for those of y'all who ran out of styles to do for your short locks. So this first style is with bangs in the front, a bun in the back and leave out in the back. Yes, this part could have been straighter <laughs> and this bun could have been neater. But like I said, I ain't going nowhere anyway. Then for this next style, I am going to twist the bun, like do a flat twist, not the bun, the bang. I'm going to flat twist the bang. <laughs> over to the side and I'm going to clip it up. I'm still using these little snappy clips that I got from the local, where did I get them from? I got them from Walmart. They're safe to use on locks and that's why I use them. They're kind of difficult to use because my locks are a bit bulky and I didn't expect them to be when I had first bought these clips, but it's fine. So the next style is me swooping that bang over to one side and doing a flat twist on the other side. Doing flat twist on my natural hair was a lot harder because for me it was hard to get it tight and neat, but doing them on sister locks because they're like individual like strands of hair, it's just so much simpler to get them to look tight and neat. This clip is not really secure and I couldn't really tell. 
I couldn't tell until later on in the video, but I went ahead and added a second one. Um, I just, if I had my glasses on, I would have been able to see. <laughs> and I would use bobby pins, but I'm kind of scared to use them right now since my locks aren't mature and I don't want to poke a hole in them. I'm just like, I'm scared to do that because my loctician is going to get mad at me and I don't want her to get mad at me. So this is my second style. Ooh, she fool, she fool. Spin around, spin around. As y'all can see, that clip is flying. <laughs> but like I said, I'm going to catch that a little bit later. Um, and I like to do this side bang hairstyle with my hat. I couldn't tell that my hat was kind of crooked on that one, but I straightened it out on this one. This is a style that I like to wear to church a lot. I don't know. Somebody called me a Maverick City girl <laughs> because of that hat that I wear. So this next one, I'm putting a bang front and center again. And this time I'm going to do the flat, flat twist on both sides. This is one of my favorite hairstyles, actually, because it just looks kind of neat and polished. And I don't know, it just looks like I have my life together, even when sometimes it feel like I don't have my life together. <laughs> There's a funny backstory on my bangs and why they are so uneven, but I'm gonna tell y'all in the next video when I get the retie done. So here's that. And of course you can split the bangs down the middle if you want to. That's a cute look too. That's how I wore them to church earlier this evening. As y'all know, I record these videos in retrospect. So I'll be talking about stuff that ain't even happened yet on YouTube, but it happened in real life. Yep, that's the side view. So cute. I love these little locks. Ooh, she is so full. I love it. So I got inspired right here. I remembered back when I was like 16, 17 and a junior in high school. And I used to do that motorcycle ramp hairstyle. I don't know what the official name for it is, whether it's a, a hump or a bump. I don't know what it is, but basically you take your bang, you twist it and you secure it in the center of your head. But I could already tell that this was going to keep falling down. So what I ended up doing was rolling up my bonnet, like just doing a flat log roll, placing it behind the hair and then securing it down with one of the clips. It turned out looking decent, um, not perfect. I could definitely still see the bonnet when I, <laughs> oh, I finally took this clip out. I finally noticed that it was hanging loose. But yeah, this is not a perfect style um, because I couldn't really see it. You can still see the bonnet, but like I said, I ain't going nowhere anyway. Um, if I was going somewhere, I probably would have took a little bit more hair out so that it could cover the bang, a cover the bonnet a little bit better. Now we're gonna do a super easy, simple hairstyle that you be seeing everybody do. It's basically two space buns in the center of my hair. I got this one bun on the left side, right? But on the right side, I had to attempt it like four or five times in order to get it to look decent and it still really don't look decent. But y'all get the general gist of what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm just like, what? Look at me squinting my eyes. I can't really see, but I know that it's something about it ain't right. <laughs> So that's just me just kind of fixing it a little bit. Yeah, it looks decent. I will smooth down my edges, but I'm getting my hair retied today, like I said, and I don't really like having products in my hair when I'm getting it retied. I just believe in my hair being as clean and residue free as possible. So in this next one, I'm actually gonna do what we call granny braids. It's just two braids going down on the left and the right side super simple this is my main go-to like i would say this is how i wear my hair about four times per week and that's because it's just super simple and as some of you know keeping your hair in braids kind of helps with the frizz and it keeps your locks looking 
somewhat fresh when you take the braids out. And it also makes, you know, your locks a little bit curlier because sometimes they get straight when you, I guess when you wear them out a lot and you have your bonnet on and you're just laying on them, they just kind of have the tendency to get straight. Y'all may, y'all may have noticed too, but my hair is a lot more springy in this video as opposed to how it was in previous videos where I was like sitting down on my couch and talking about the Bible and stuff. And that's because during this uh, growth period, I've been spraying my hair a lot more like every other day, like how I'm supposed to, like how my loctician told me that I'm supposed to. Whereas before I wasn't really spraying it that much. I was probably spraying it only like once or twice per week. So my hair has definitely a lot of life and juice <laughs> as a result of me spraying it. I finger comb the braids out and then I do a low ponytail. So that's it, y'all. That is the end of this video. Um, I don't know how many styles I did I think I did like five or six I'll put it in the title of the video but <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all in the next video where we are gonna get my second retie done and I will see y'all next week peace out